Hey everyone, so today has been an amazing day. I got a fish. I went to Petland. That's not where I got my fish, but Petland always puts me in a good mood because I absolutely love animals. And I have this thing every time I go to an animal store that I have to play with all the ugly puppies before I play with the pretty ones because the ugly ones never get played with, which makes me kind of sad. But after I got through playing with all my ugly puppies, I played with the cutest puppy ever. It was probably the most expensive puppy I've ever seen at Petland. Like the whenever I've gone anyway, it was $1,140. I think it was a purebred, but it was an all-white American Husky. Cutest dog ever. My mom wouldn't let me get one because we have two dogs already, but as soon as I move out in three years, I'm getting one, but it was so cute. Anyway, my mom did agree on letting me get a fish, and I didn't think that the fishes at Petland would survive the 45-minute bumpy ride home, so I just decided to wait till I got to my hometown and went to Walmart and got a fish. The only reason I got the fish that I got is because it already had a name for it. Like, as soon as I saw it, I knew its name because I hate going through the process of figuring out names just because there's so many possibilities and I don't know what to pick. And um, have you ever seen the movie Bedtime Stories? There's that gerbil with huge eyes named Bugsy. Well, as soon as I saw this fish, it had the hugest eyes I've ever seen on a fish. And so I'm like, you're a Bugsy, I'm taking you home. And so I took it home and so far it's a pretty calm fish. I think it's lonely, but... It's over there in that corner in that little bowl of the little tiny chain or the little tiny cage. But anyway, the main point I'm doing this video, or the main reason why I'm doing this video is because it is a what's in my bag video. And it is a tag video, so I'm gonna tag all my subscribers. And if you're not my subscriber, I still want you to make this video and leave it as a, a video response below because I love watching these videos and I really want to watch yours. Um, I think these videos are just so like unique and I love watching to see what other people put in their bags because we don't all put the same things in our beach or pool bags but before I get started I wanted to let you guys know that I am a lifeguard so I do have a couple things that most people don't or unless you're a lifeguard you probably have it too but oh my gosh I don't think I have my whistle I think I left my whistle at work anyway but I'm a lifeguard so I do have a couple things that you probably won't have or I don't have things that you would normally have. But anyway, this is my beach bag. It is just a mesh bag. I don't need a waterproof bag because I've got like a bin at work and I don't have to worry about things getting wet. But it is yellow and it's got like blue lining and handles and it's got a strawberry. I love strawberries. And um, the first thing I have in here is pretty standard. It's just a red towel that's got white flowers all over it. and. I don't know, it's just a towel. And the next thing is a shower cap. The only reason this is in there is because if I decide to go to a friend's house and I've only worked a couple hours and my hair didn't get wet, I'm still gonna take a shower at their house so I don't smell like chlorine all day. And um, I'm just gonna put my hair back and put this over it so my hair doesn't get all wet and I have to redo it and all that stuff. Um, the next thing in here is my first aid uh, stuff because I am a lifeguard so it's just a fanny pack. And um, in it, I just keep my CPR thing, which I should probably replace because a little while ago I had strep, and um, I use this with my strep, so it's all strep infested, so I don't know if I wanna use it again. But um, yeah, and inside that is just gloves, which I wanna change out too because I hate latex gloves because they leave that nasty white stuff on your hands, that gritty feeling stuff, it's disgusting, and I hate it, but yeah, that's that. And then I keep band-aids in here and I keep my most favorite lip gloss ever. It's from Victoria's Secret and um, it just says wild thing on it and I absolutely love the casing. And you can definitely tell I use this a lot. It's almost gone, which I'm going to have to get another one because I love it so much. And it's called Balmania Premium Lip Balm with SPF 20 so it keeps my lips from burning which is good. And my lips get really chapped during the day, so I need to keep it in my fanny pack because my fanny pack is literally on me all times while I'm lifeguarding. And that's it in my fanny pack, and there should be a whistle in there, but I think I left that in my little bin. <clears throat> the next thing I have in here is deodorant. I use Dove Ultimate Go Fresh Revive Pomegranate and Lemon Verbena Scent. <laughs> that was a lot to say. Um... I guess this is just in there because if you get hot, you don't want to have stinky, smelly pits. So just put on some deodorant and you're good to go. And the next thing in here are sunglasses. I don't take my expensive sunglasses to the pool with me because there's so many things that can happen. Like what if you fall? What if 
they fall off your face and they get all scratched up. What if a kid throws a ball at you and they break right here and you have to wrap them up like a nerd? That would suck. And so <clears throat> I just keep my expensive ones at home because if those break, I can just go to Walmart and get another pair. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I have in here kind of has a story behind it. It's cortisone 10. This is because two weeks ago I had strep and the antibiotics that they put me on, um, I had an allergic reaction to it, but like the allergic reaction wasn't to the meds, it was to the sun. Like my allergic reaction to my medication made me allergic to the sun. And so I got really bad sun poisoning. Like my arms were completely covered. Anything that was sun exposed, like my legs, was completely covered in a red bumpy rash and it itched really bad. And so I had to go over it with this. And I actually found this like came in handy because a lot of my friends kept getting like mosquito bites and were itching like crazy. So I just give them some of this and they were fine. So I'm gonna keep that with me for like the rest of the summer. The next thing I have in here is just my makeup bag that literally has like four things in here. I don't wear a lot of makeup during the summer. I usually just wear eyeliner, mascara, and lip stuff like I am today. But if I do wear face stuff, it's either a tinted moisturizer or just a really light foundation. So in here, I keep like really cheap makeup or things I have duplicates of because if someone steals it or if I lose it, it'll kind of bite, but it won't be the end of the world or anything because it wasn't expensive. And so the first thing is Avon's Healthy Makeup Liquid Foundation, which is just like this. It's really thin. I actually do like this a lot, but I hardly ever use it. So yeah. And then the next thing, the only reason it's in here is because it's a duplicate. I really do like this. And um, it's Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain. With, like it has a balm too. Here's the lip balm which just moistens your lips. And here's the lip stain. I'm actually wearing this right now which you can't really tell because it all kind of came off. But it's really dark and I really like dark lip things. Just because they make my lips stand out and make your teeth look whiter and stuff. The next thing in here is also just a duplicate. That's the only reason it's in here. It is a MAC uh, fluid line in the color Macro Violet which is a really like deep plum -y color. It looks black on camera, but I promise it's purple. And then the last thing that I keep in there, oh, and there's just like a little brush thing to apply that with. The last thing I keep in there is an Avon uh, waterproof mascara. I don't know what color this is. Um, this is in the color navy, so it's like a dark blue. And then the next thing I have in here is pre wrap because if my hair does get really wet, I'm gonna pull it back into a pony and my foot is falling asleep. I'm sitting on the floor again and I'm sitting on one of my feet. Oh, I wanna show you what I'm wearing. Okay, so I'm wearing the shirt that I got from Mark Catalog actually, which I think this is really super pretty. It's just a flowy shirt. And then I'm just wearing jean shorts and then I'm wearing this uh, bracelet that's like my new favorite bra bracelet for now and it's from Body Central. And then I'm wearing my mom's earrings, then these earrings and then I don't have one up there. I don't know why it's not in there, but it's not. Anyway, so I've got pre-wrap because if my hair does get wet, I'm going to pull my hair back. And I don't want to have to worry about packing a brace, or not a bracelet, a headband every time I go because I forget. And um, so I just pack this, and so when I need a headband, I can just tear a piece off and put it in. <sighs> I feel like I'm talking really fast and meaning like a wind did. Um, the next thing I have in here is bug guard, which I think everyone should have because you don't want to get bitten by nasty old bugs. Um repel those suckers so that's why that's in there um the next thing that's in here i don't even use i don't know why it's in here it's called panama jack sunblock oil with spf 15 it says it prevents sunburn but if it's like a sun oil like block wouldn't it like attract the sun i don't know i haven't used it yet so i don't know if it works um the next thing in here is a book i am a bookworm i really wanted to do a video on like my favorite summer books but I didn't know if I should or not because this is a beauty channel not a book channel and um this is Sarah Dustin's What Happened to Goodbye um so far it's really good I only read it during breaks so I'm only on like page 98 and um whenever I read hardback books I don't keep the cover on it the cover is actually over there on my dresser but I don't want to damage the cover so I just don't keep it on and the last thing that I have in this bag is lotion because um Whenever I'm in chlorinated water or just any other wa like type of water, um, I get really dry really easily and I don't like having dry skin at all. I hate that feeling. So I just put on some lotion and everything is good. But that is all I have in my bag. As you can see, it's empty. It's completely see-through now. And so 
like I said, um, if you are watching this, I just tagged you to do this video, so please leave it as a comment, or not a comment, a video response, and I will be sure to watch it. Um, I'm really excited to watch yours, so I don't know. I hope you do it. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.